Hey everyone, so this is going to be a brief demonstration on how to either enable or disable 3D Touch on the iPhone 7, 7 Plus, 6S, or 6S Plus, and also I'll give you a look at how it works. So first of all, just to enable it or disable it, you go into your settings, and then scroll down to general, accessibility, and then go down to 3D Touch. Now by default this should be on, you see mine is currently on. If you want to turn it off, just drag the slider to the left. But of course for this demonstration, I'm going to have it on, drag it to the right. Now for a look at how 3D Touch works, and right after this I'll show you a real world usage for it. So normally on a phone without 3D Touch, you would hold down lightly on something. And so you see here I'm doing that. And now the background is gray. But on a phone like the iPhone 7, where you have 3D Touch, you can hold down harder. Apply some force, now you see the image pops up. Hold down even harder, and pops up again. So there's different levels to it. Now, again, I will show you in a second some real world use for that. But if you want, you can either hold down lighter or harder to enable it. So let's say if you don't want to hold down so hard on it, you can just drag the slider to the left. So now I'm applying less pressure, but the 3D touch still works, as you see here. But personally, I prefer it to be in the middle. You guys can mess around with this, see which one you prefer. So look how this works. Now, generally on iPhone, uh, and the same with this device, if you want to delete an app, you just hold down on it lightly. And then it will bring up this X, which you can delete an app. But of course, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to enable, or I'm going to use 3D Touch. So rather than holding down lightly on the camera app, I'm going to hold down a little bit harder. And so you see now 3D Touch comes into play. And I'm still holding down on the phone. Uh, I can let go whichever one I want. So let's say I want to go right to recording video, let go. And now I have the video recording feature up. So really guys, there's a whole lot you can do with this. And I will have a full demonstration on that on my channel in the future, so stay tuned for that. Alright everyone, so thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hopefully it was helpful. Please subscribe for more content like this in the future. And thanks again for watching.